Well, we'll see if the draft strat works out once again for EG as we get ourselves into the action. Looking also at the draft of NIP, do you, do you think that NIP has enough to, to deal with a morphing down the line in terms of catch? Is sort of dual and burrow strike going to be enough? I see top. Bit of a move on to RTZ. Sax actually Locks. getting some really nice body blocks off, and that'll do it. Sets up for first blood. They'll get it. I'm going to walk all the way back. He's going to be so far behind. Lane Crip. It's nice to get the wrap around onto Fada with that Fisher block off. Fada still got a fair bit of movement speed with the boots. Can he get away? There's an Invis uh -oh. rune. Oh, is he going to get away? No. The fade time too long. Dunk prepared. And yeah, this is a great move. This will be faster paced than NIP. They can get ace. Got split. This is a big catch if they can manage to get on top of him. S4 charging in. Fisher comes out. S4 gets the clap slow. Splits out as well. Can PPD save ace? That's the question. Zip forward from Samuel. He's looking towards PPD on the back. There'll be a cold embrace for ace. They'll surround him. Fada's coming in as well, but oh, the nice echo stop. slam onto the two of them. Holds him back. Ace will go down. EG get the kill onto the arc warden. Yep, and they throw up C as well. Fly might look to set up on this, but I think EG, they're just going to take that kill and get the hell out of here. Although on the box side... They get PPD yep. as well. So, again, near identical performances by these sides. 33. He's been found, tries for the TP out, they block him off with the Fisher with the Macropire down, they should have the damage to do this, so maybe if Saxon can come in the Burrow Strike, they can help him, no, there's the stun, Fada, he tried to punch it, but he does it too early, so the stun is still there on 33, and that'll mean that 33 is gone. S4 gets the kill on the Prophet. EG should still feel more comfortable in the late game. But it's the super late game. Okay. That's Fada, they get the jumping crit, trying to help out, make sure that they don't lose this jewel, he's... Got to get the kill, doesn't get the bonus damage, and will lose his life for that. Maybe they can get Saxa as well here. Saxa shot down by Artur's drop. As EG will punish NIP for going a little bit deep for that kill attempt. Oh, you got to be careful, PPD. They're just going straight for him. You can Fish see them. In. Samael closing the gap whilst in the Legion form. There's the attack damage and speed there. With the press the attack, punching down the Wyvern. Tower taken as well. Arc Warden invis top. He's got that DD room picked up as well. Fada. He can find the catch. Ace starting to boot. Now kick the fight off with the Tempest double, getting aggressive. Critness Goodness, below, Saxon stun. with the two-man burrow strike. There's the LC Jewel follow-up. Echo Slam does come in, but it doesn't matter. They've got the two kills required. Now it looks to see if they can chase down Samael. He'll go for the TP out. Is there any cancel? There's not. Uh, Sax says they did scan quite close to him. In fact, in the middle of you know, the river, they're going to look to fight back. The NIP's in with the Jewel. That's a dead crit. They catch the Shaker, that. Sax is in with a Blink Burrow Strike on to fly. NIP's gonna find more potentially. So Mel moves with the SK, will get the revenge as he comes in with the Burrow Strike. Actually, he's in oh, with the last stages. They wanna try and find more, but he's gotta be careful. He didn't get the regen either. Very, uh, pretty much unkillable build. This small thing, not only invincible, but also very potent if he finds a catch. As Samel will move over towards that top lane. Um, S4. He's struggling this game, Kyle. He walked back in, bottom. There they got another. The cool on drought. Just like that, two big core kills to take, oh, but they kills ace. ace. So EG, they will take a trade there. They didn't even use Echo there. It's a lot of money for Samel as well. Of course, Ace having a brilliant game, and that's 900 gold going the way of the yep. morph. But EG losing both RTZ and S4. He TPs himself out. Eyes on the Arcane room from Fly. TPD's on the eyes of the two of them, and 33 oh. popping the BKB, trying for RTZ, they get oh. the jewel, they pop the Lincolns, they get the jewel, they should get this kill with the Bouncer Star, is there, Marty, but no, he's still alive, he turns, the life still jumping for Saxa with the Boris Strike, but there's Samuel, it's the Sanky Boris Strike, back onto Saxa, the E-Blade nuke as well, they get the kill onto the SK, and RTZ survives, they'll get PPD as well. This clone just looking to keep pressuring, pressure's coming keep in. these heroes back. The question is how much can EG do, whilst also dealing with the pressure, RTZ? Hexed up, and that allows the Tempest double for the space to take that range yep. racks away. For bottom, Smell's in. He is, he's looking for the kills, with the jump forward, they'll nuke down. Wow. 33, the Prophet is dead, 80 seconds, he has got buyback. Smell wants to push on, wants to find as much as he can, whilst EG have the number of bonds. He's still a full minute, let's get caught out by the Hex and the Silence, in fact, Fada's in as well. The Jewel, the Control on S4, the Bruise dead. Now EG have to get out of there, jump forward, they'll pop the Lincoln, Samel's got to be careful, he'll get himself away, Crit's still left behind though, the Shaker trying to hide in the trees, but there's the tree and Sal surrounding Crit, does pop the cheese, back up, he's got the Echo, he's trying to turn, but there's the Silence, the Hex, he's oh, no, dead, Samel came back in, but the Boris Strike catches him out, Spirit Vessel upon him, will pop the out to try to get away, but the Sprout controls him into the SK, tries to escape, but he can't. This team's here. Fly and Arteezy, can they help him against the full lineup of NIP Saxa, there's the epicenter moving in, Arteezy starts to Hit towards Saxon, Samael, BKB pop, zips in, silence, catch it out, 33, but 33 goes for the TP scroll, he's out of there. Artur and Fly have to be careful, Samael's BKB's about to end, he'll get Saxa, nuke down Fodder as well with the E-Blade, Samael keeps his distance. They're gonna look for a smoke now, I don't think EG saw it. Tempest Double's gonna lead the way. 
They see RTZ. They pop his Lincolns they too. Do. They get the Hex as well. Can they follow this up? They'll look towards him. Saxa looking for the wraparound on the side. Still very careful about how they make this jump though, NIP. There's the jump though, Saxa. He'll look towards Fly first. They'll get rid of the Jakiro. Lincolns and Lotus being popped down onto RTZ, trying to keep him as safe as possible. There's the pop of the Lincolns. They will be out to control the on shaker. the side with that ult. Butters in, looking for the dual BKB's pop, but he doesn't get the dual off. He doesn't cast in time. He'll try and chase down RTZ, but he won't be able to close the gap. They will get the kill onto Crip, but RTZ yep. is allowed to walk away as Fada. He just didn't get that dual off. Yep, Roche has spawned though. You know it's an objective. Both cores on both supports are on EG have buyback. You're going to need to contest this. This is the refresher shard. I mean, I, I imagine right in that sense, Fada probably couldn't have got the jewel because the Lincolns was back on, yep. available for RTZ after, of course, being helped up by Lincolns of his teammate. So it's very hard for Fada to get these jewels. Immediate split from S4. That was a bit early. He's pushing them out of the pit. And there's on the back lines. Ace starting to poke with that side there. In. They popped the Lincolns on RTZ. RTZ has to be careful. It's down to half HP. Into the pit, Samel goes, but Saxa blinks out. The yep. primal split about to come to an end. S4's well going to see if he can try and hunt with the Wind Panda to get some sort of catch. Maybe cancel it, blink in, set something up. As EG have the space to go into the pit. S4 used his BKB there as well. He is a non factor in these engagements. Win Winter's Curse is unavailable for 20 seconds. PPD doesn't have oh, the impact. What are you doing? In. He's gone out. PPD's gone. He's, he's got buyback. He'll use it straight away. 33 popping the BKB. Samel still trying to finish off Roshan. Cool. They got the Lotus Orb Hex off onto the Arc Warden. BKB popped here by Samel, making sure that he can get this right. Oh, in the pit. Fada, he steals the Aegis, but S4 refresher shard that splits up again. They instantly kill off Fada's Aegis. They'll look to go for him a second time around the ice path. The control, Fada, stuck in the pit. He needs help. Cold Embrace is there from PPD, but S4 sends PPD up into the air with the Wind Panda. Fada, can he escape? BKB's bot, but he cannot walk out of this. EG have the damage. They've killed Fada. When you look at the way this game is being played out, Fada, he's gonna try for the jump. Oh, they, they got the hex. They get the jewel. They've got the lockdown spell, but he's so tanky, he's just gonna stay alive. They cannot kill him off in time. They'll try with the burrow strike, but Samel shifting into the HP. Crit, Echo Slam, down onto the two of them. Fada's gone. Burrow strike for Samel as well. Catches out Saxa. The buybacks have to come out this time from NIP. As PPD will get the blink off after the cold embrace up to the high ground. S4 with the Wind Panda. He'll be able to throw the real ace up into the air. EG will back away, respect the two buybacks that come out from NIP. He, however. They'll be able to delay it for some time. I think Ace make the right move here, trying to get aggressive, but... Fortification does have to be used by EG, but EG now know they've got the numbers. So oh, they'll collapse in. immediately into the base. They'll take down the range racks. They'll get the melee racks as well, surely. Oh my god, Actually, the fortification is going to slow them down a bit, but indeed... Oh, in the base! He's trying for the tier fours. He's forcing them back. EG's got to answer to this. They yeah. have sent back Fly. They'll now be TPing back on more. Oh, but all of a sudden... They get the Megas, though. EG will finish off the base. There's the jump in. They make it kills as well. Cold Embrace is going to be used to try and keep Saxa safe. And Samel, he's going to have a burrow strike out of this one. But there's the Winter's Curse. Holding back Samel won't save Saxa. And Saxa, dead for two minutes without buyback. PPD's gone as well. They're able to have the control onto the Prophet 33. He's going to be dead and gone. He does have buyback. But oh. NIP, they three FTPs? versus five now. They're going to go straight for the base, though. Arc Warden does a lot it. of damage. It's going to be a throw There's base. There's no way they can outdo the, the Drow damage. There's no way, as this Ancient falling to the Drow, falling to the Morph. EG, they've got the speed, the power to do it. Close up the game. And 62 minutes in, it's a long one. So here we go, getting into the action. Can NIP swing this one around? There's the one weakness to the Shaker, right? Where you don't have that ease of execution playing with the Darkseer. You don't have that point and click stun. You've got to try and catch PPD out of position, land a block. Easier said than done. Bottom. Hey, one under more the tower. Spray. He might just do it. He has to sell, oh, but he's block. actually able to keep out of range as well. So the sell will keep going. And look to get the kill onto Fly instead. It means his offensive power will be limited. And they're going for him. They are. Crip. He's here to help the backup. Once again, the root first to slow him down, hold him in position, get the setup for a good Fisher. Traps him in, 33, he's stuck in the... Well, you gotta be careful. The quill sprays are adding up, though, not to RTZ. RTZ has to keep the distance, wait for the quill sprays to wear off. Does mean that 33 will stay alive. He's just holding his back to he's them. He's going deeper and deeper here in the trees. He's taking their time to kill him, but one more slap. Crip, he's oh got it. Oh my god. Top lane as well, looking for S4. They do get a trade, NIP. Yep. They'll kill it off, S4. And their draft, as, as I just said, like it, they're, they're all in. They're going to go divide. And bottom, nice TP from Smell. He had the invis, now goes bottom. He'll set up the easy kill onto Soxa. Could be a tough battle for them. They're taking the tower, but Ishii's sort of letting them. Baiting them in for this one, S4. He's gonna see if he can Sounds find like some it. sort of setup with the vacuum. They're already looking towards Fada. Fada out of money. Gets the static off. So RTZ has to keep the distance, but there's the fish. Here it comes. Crit. Ooh. Not wanting to jump in as of yet. The wall has been dropped down. Saxa gets nuked off to the side by the purifying flames. As NIP having to back off. Who's gonna be the first to jump? 
as everybody ultimates at the ready. EG starting to push over the river. Found the assassinate, but there, AC gets the jump in. Look at the hex off as well. BKB's pop Serpent Wars blocking in, trapping RTZ off and pop the ult. Try and bite his way in, but Ace running back towards the backlines. Cannot get crit in time. Crit will escape. We'll miss Wall's the wall. Drop down. Samel go for the TP up the road of Atos. They cancel Samel's TP. They're on top of the sniper. They'll get one. And now they look for more. 33. He's found fly. The goose stacks up. Double kill for Fada. They'll turn towards Saxa, but now they're outnumbered. EG. They have to be careful. 33 keeps going for crit. Crit slides down to the low ground. The shackles are there onto S4. He'll grab the double damage, continue to retreat. That's and so NIP, good. they're taking the fight very nicely so far. The TP over from Fada towards the Shrine to jump in from Saxon. They have to lock down for a third. Crit's dead as well. There we go. I like this. Nip learned a bit from that first game. They take the initiative. Try and find a pick off or a fight first, and they're going for it here yes. with the smoke. You gotta be careful. Look at look at RTZ's build. He went Deso. He is not playing Dota to kill the enemies. It's all about the buildings. He's killing the tier two bottom. Top. They find a core catch. They'll get oh, Fada. No. Jump in with the echo. Fada's down for 75. And IP still seeing if they can get a poke on this. They get the hex off. On to fly. Fisher will be there to cancel the shackle. Force to the side. Fly will be fine. And IP, they still want to go ace. Oh, the two man stun. The silence wants to but it's removed off immediately by the false promise. They lose towards S4. The damage from this fan rips S4 apart. Saxa, he's in with the hex. They've caught out another 33 and ace upon him. Samel will pop, and they're not done yet. Ace on towards Fly, stuns out. He has been disarmed. He's slowing him down, but the silence on to Fly means Fly's got nothing <laughs> else available. Ace, two shots him. As there's a triple kill for the Sven. They not damage out, but they need NIP heroes isolated to find kills. But the lanes are good for NIP, so they're just gonna look to push. They are, they're moving in with the smoke. Let's we'll see if they can catch Saxa. In with the jump, the blink hex, Ace is there with the damage as crit's found and crit's gone. No buyback on the Shaker either. He's dead for a full minute. As NIP, they'll take the tier two, they're moving up to the high ground. The lanes aren't good enough. Arteezy does not have any pressure on the map. You've got at least 30 seconds to go here for NIP. Wards are down, jump in from Ace, tries for the stun. Blink dodges there. But NIP with these wards down, they'll melt through the tier three. Was it they're able to stick around for the racks as well? Still 45 seconds, no crit shaker. Arteezy desperately shoving out this bottom lane, trying to get it up towards the base. Ace, he's he in! Him. Onto the mount with a false promise, he's there for fly. Oh now Ace turns towards another, the hex was there for Zaxxor to fly, flies dead, buys back, yep. but they've lost S4. Arteezy had approaching the base. You're going to be able to kill the racks here on NIP, but now you got to return. They've got to get back. Look for the TP. They have cliff available. They can. Fada pops the BKB. The vacuum's there to cancel Saxon's TP. Goes Scepter. Will buy him some time. The assassinate comes in as well as the root. Saxon will fall. Arteezy, he moves straight up towards the top. Fortification will finally come out from NIP. Well, they're chasing. Close to EG. They're going to find crit in the trees. Crit. Force to the side. A lead him with the Shiva's guard there on top of crit. The stun's there from Ace. No Yule's up in the air to dodge the stun. Can he escape this though? Another force to the side. S4's trying to help up, but S4 sided by the blood for the Greaves are out. Crit will be able to keep the distance. RTZ and S4 trying to kill off Ace. Ace, the oh stun's out to RTZ. RTZ in trouble. RTZ's down. Ace, no sorry, S4 down. They get the kill as well. RTZ's still good to go. He's trying to turn it around, but PBD and 33 is still ready to fight. Oh, the cheese is popped. And RTZ's BKB's one off. He has to be careful and hide in the trees. Fighter very, very low at the moment. But S4, the one to die, depth for 90, yep. no buyback on the dogs here. If you, know, you know this, if you're NIP, you're just going to go They've forward. Got fly, oh. fly. No, no buyback, buyback either. On the They're right into the base, you go for throne here. They're diving. Forcing some and crit right back. As they'll move in, some forced back into the fountain just in time. But a full minute where EG only yep. had three heroes in the game. Wards are down. NIP looking to close this one up as the tier fours start to fall. Yep, Arteezy, you can keep ratting if you want to, but your base is in danger this time, not just the racks. You gotta oh. carefully go in. He's gonna try. He's trying his best crit, but it's not enough. The hex, the control, crit's dead. No buyback on him either. The shackles as well. NIP, they are doing it here in this game too, by the looks of it. Ace. Nearly dying there, in fact, with the blink forward. Samel does get him. There'll be a buyback, Samel. He's trying to hold, but GG is called. NIP will take game two. We're going to a game three. Game three, the final game of the night to decide who's going to come out of it on top. Instead, going to go just farm easy camp real fast. Fly. He's got the nightmare set up on mid. CTP's come in to help out Fada. In fact, it's going to be a raking ace coming in to help oh. out Fada. Got the static thing on to fly, though. Chase him down with the Ray Fire Blast and the Skeletons. They'll get that kill. First blood for Ace. 
Bottom, you have Nighttime, Night Stalker against the Spectre. And even though he was outmatched, look at the CS now down bottom. All of a sudden, 3-3 has more denies and CS, and you're gonna find another killer looks like up top on I S4. Mean, every single time, more than prepared with the dust and making it look so easy at killing S4 off. He's always on his own. They'll Bottom see lane. AG try and return to go for NIP's off laner. They've got the setup with the Nightmare into the stun, and they will get 33. So both side lanes taking a fall for that second night phase at 15 minutes to come up. If you could, you'd love to get mid, but great job by Arteezy pulling the creep wave away. They're gonna have to aggro for it. Down bottom, they've, they've got a fight going in. IP. They've taken down Crit. Ace has turned up oh, as wow. well. He's looking towards Samael. This is a big goal boost if they get it, and they do. They get both the kills. Fada, he's starting to chase down for more. They've got their eyes on Fly. PPD also helping with the chase towards him. A big static link means that Fly is gonna get slapped down with a couple of whips from Fada's Razor as there's three dead on EG. So ensure you cut this. It's not as if Wraith King is actually a target. He's got two points in his ultimate. Back the smoke. Let's see, they can find the Ruby. Jump in onto Saxa, but it's gonna try and help out. Saxa will die. There's the Horde from Arteezy. They'll look to try and go for more, but 33. He's already in on the front lines of the fight. They're on top of the less track. Yule's up into the air, though. Samael will be able to walk back up the high ground. In fact, he wants to get an ace. Jumps in, stuns out onto the Enigma. 33's killed off the bane. Burrows trying to S4 in with the epicenter. They're on top of Fada. Fada's surrounded by EG. They'll get the Razor. Oh. See if they can get more out of this, but 33. He's still good to fight with the silence. Only S4 and RTZ left alive. Samael having to buy back to come and help out as he TPs over towards the shrine. They'll chase that S4, S4 burrow strikes. Dust popped. Taxa. Try for a, a bit of a setup onto S4. The rest of the team on their way, but S4. Oh, bottom. We'll be out gets grip, but he's so tanky. I don't know if you want to make this play. EG. There's a lot of TPs coming in from NIP. They're going to respond to this immediately. They'll go for the horn, trying to kill off 33, but Ace, he's already on top of Fly. The Rod of Atos holding down S4. Ace is just committing on the front lines. He's going to have that second life. He's good to fight again. Got a stun on Saxa. Let's see if they can go for this Saxa with the Burrow. Look at the skeletons. It's Samael. Samael's gone. They're trying desperately to find this kill on the Raid King a second time, and they do. They will kill off Ace the two times. PPD looking for crit. Now with the dagger out, RTZ can chase down PPD. Another stun onto Crit. Crit's now gone. The dust is there on S4. RTZ's desperately chasing for PPD and will manage to oh take no, down the burn. They've lost the Razor as well. They've killed off the Aegis. That was a great fight for EG. Blink up in a second. Ace actually jumping in for the Helm of the Dawn Creep. And he will get it. And now S4 will come in with the Burrow Strike Samael. Has the follow stun, they're still a little hesitant on how much they go in on him, but with the Midnight oh. Pulse, it's enough damage. They'll kill him the ones. They're gonna back out immediately. They're gonna go down bottom. Let's see if they can get that jump onto 33 instead. RTZ is gonna be super kept so oh. no! He still dies. Crip with the black hole will allow them to get 33, but it wasn't enough to save Artor in time. PPD getting the last impetus through to kill him. They lo do lose the Enchantress as well. Careful with the black hole available, but even then, Saxa. Yep. He can look for the steel play. Back towards mid, Fly already started to go on. There's going to be the BKB from Fada. Crit using the black oh, hole no. to control the Razor. Horn in from Arteezy and Fada's gone. They kill the Razor off Fada, buying back. They want to try and fight now that they know that these big cooldowns have been used. Now move in S4 with the Burrow Strike onto Ace. Ace being the focus. 33 cannot control Crit. Saxon will jump in. Stolen Burrow Strike. He's trying to find Crit, but the damage output for Samael is too high. Sax is dead. Another buyback being used by an IP. Crit still alive as he keeps himself away from 33. PPD is trying to find him back towards the river. Ace will finish off S4. Down the calls without interruption. Oh, it's easy. Not easy. Walk forward on his own, Fada and Saxa starting to have a poke upon the man to start a retreat, but the BKB and the rock from Fada controlling him up. They're looking towards this Spectre, he's taking a lot of damage in return though, Fada, but they can stand their ground, keep oh on God. going. Arteezy's dead, now Samael, he's trying to jump in, there'll be a buyback haunt used from Arteezy, they're going to try and turn this around, EG, but they've lost Samael. They pop that first life on Fada and yeah, the Raven. Another engagement down bottom though. But they're ready they to, found Yeah, they can go for him here. They're trying to kill off 33's tanky and the rest of NRP's on their way over. They do finish off the kill. Look to commit with that huge area of lockdown. Both teams starting to go. S4. He's gonna rev up the Epi. He does get the jump in straight away on top of the Wraith King. Ace down to half health. I'll put the Mion in, but he's falling low under the midnight pulse. He'll die the ones. So they can kill him another time here. S4 trying to back off now. The BKB's popped by Ace. They'll find Fly. So the rest of EG back away. The bottom, tier three taken by Sumail. He blinks out immediately as well. He's opened the base. And IP, can they actually get anything out of this? They're looking towards RTZ, but RTZ's got a lot of backup here on the high ground by the shrine. 33 is trying to head forward. He's in with the silence on top of the three of them. 
but he's falling low. This burn damage from the Radiant is starting to stack up. Now Fada does get the link off. Horn used from Artesia to try and break away, but the static link continues. Fada could keep locked down under the target. Black Hole used to hold it's back. Stolen. Make sure that there isn't more. Crit will get the kill, but there's the stolen Black Hole. Saxa, he's got the control, but he hasn't got the damage. Has to blink away. As the Black Hole there from Crit keeping Artesia safe, allowing them to kill Fada. S4 still trying to find out with Bottom PPD. lane. He has been done. The melee racks. In. The Malefice. They're looking for PPD, but as you say, the damage being done by the creeps. The creeps, they're going to do it. The creeps, they've got it. The melee racks is gone. Unbelievable by EG. So much of that gold is on Ace. A lot of pressure on Ace to make here big things comes. happen. They're going to look to try and fight here. Crit. BKB's pop. They're looking to get on top of him, but there's the BKB now from Fada. They've already lost the Rubik, though. Rubik taken down straight away. No buyback available. Fada at 33 is trying to keep the fight going, but the damage output from EG looks to be too much. Hard. Easy. He's still on full HP. Focuses Fada. Fada's dead. The Boros Strike on a 33. They'll all die here pretty much on NIP. Ace will be able to BKB TP out. But there's three dead. PPD cannot get out either. The Malefist, the lightning for some ale. Quickest Radiance timings we saw in Ace, but it didn't matter as now Ace walks up, leads the way into the high ground. S4 and some ale. They're bringing him down so quickly. The first life just burnt through like that. PPD has to get out of it. Ace pops the BKB, but crit. Black hole, no messing around. Gets the Wraith King out of the game. Buyback from Ace is going to be used by EG. They're heading forward, far out PKB as well as 33, they're on top of Samael, Samael, he's getting caught out, Yule's up into the air, he's still alive for now. Can they finally finish in the impetus? They've got him, Samael's down, they'll now be able to fly, the silence, the void, the crit, they've got two, double kill though for crit in response. There'll be a buyback available for Fada if he wants oh, to get back in, Ace, he's in trouble, he needs help, but he needs it now, he's not going to get it, Ace, dead without buyback, PPD, stunned up by the bar strike, PPD, he's gone as well. Without buyback on NIP, GG is caught, it's all over and done. EG take game three, take the series two to one. And what a game, burning the midnight oil here in Paris.